If you see around us, most of us are diabetic or suffering with some or the other ailments with medicines on a regular basis. Are we taking care of our health? Have we realized the need for the change? Someone has realized the need. She is a normal homemaker from Telangana, Supriya Gattam. Being an Indian housewife, my focus was on giving fresh and healthy food to my family members and save them in falling sick to the most prevailing lifestyle diseases across the world. Millet Sanjeevani Annadi Naake Kaakunda, Na Kutumba Sabhyulke Kaakunda, Andar Ki Koda No Andalan Cheppi, E concept of Mundu Kochamandi, Dini Valla Chala Upyogalunna, Indi Kante Na Kutumba Lo Nenu, Ma Family Ma Sandaru Koda Dini Vaadi, Ma Kunna Cancers Nici, Vaiti Padi, Ippudu Chala Five Years Ayna Six Years Ayna Chala Arugyanga Unna Mo Ante E Millet Kaarnam, Andi Ke Dini Sanjeevani Ani Peer Peta. She took a lot of care in avoiding outside and packaged food, in spite of which her family members succumb to diseases like BP, diabetes, thyroid and other ailments. She always wondered how her grandparents and their parents were fit and fine without any health issues, not depending much on the medicines and lived their fullness for more than 90 years. The question kept coming to her as why our generation is so vulnerable and obese with ailments related to lifestyle. At the same time, her search led to the talks of Dr. B.M. Hegde and Dr. Kadarwali and realized that white rice, white sugar, corn, maida, wheat, milk and various other GMO products were the root cause for all the diseases. Having understood the fact that millets are rich in fiber, protein, sugar-free and most importantly a native grain of Mother Earth which was consumed for years by Indian civilization and natives in the rest of the world. Its carb fiber ratio falls below 10 unlike white rice which has 395 with zero nutritional value. There came a day of complete shift over to millets which is a lifesaver Sanjeevni. She felt the need of sharing the millet Sanjeevni to others for the benefit of the society and there arose the concept of millet servings. But it was a huge challenge as they were hitting at the senses of the masses where junk food is given priority rather than health and fitness. The founder Supriya Gattam and co-founder her husband Anjani Kumar of Millet Servings scatter millet tiffins with unique models. The target is to replace the rice-based tiffin centers with millet tiffins, especially the roadside bhattis. The efforts went in vain convincing the roadside bhattiwalas as Gandhiji quotes, be the change you want to see. There came their brainchild of setting up their own roadside kiosk with the tagline, immunity on streets. They ensured in supplying the necessary millet idli dosa batter as by then they were consumers of millets for four years. This has to happen through women entrepreneurship. They strongly believe that if a woman or a mother changes, then her family changes and through that the whole society changes. Next month, they are starting with a minimum of 20 millet tiffin kiosks reaching 100 plus. In a year's time, they are making women the owners to these upcoming 100 kiosks thereby creating employment, generating wealth and giving right health. The base for all these activities is millet batter, which is a reality now in terms of millet batter production plant in Hyderabad. Atal Incubation Center's financial support to this wonderful sustainable project is taking up gears in achieving what they envisioned. Millet Servings is an organization supplying millet batter to more than 100 stores which includes organic stores, vegetable mandis and a few supermarkets with bulk orders for restaurants on a daily basis. Hi, this is Sharad from Hyderabad. Initially, I've never used millets but recently I've started using this uh, millet chitli dosa batter. Uh, I'm absolutely feeling comfortable and healthy from inside. Uh, now I'm a great fan of uh, uh, foxtail, banyard and little. Uh, I highly suggest everyone to start using these millets. <laughs>